is a cherished tradition and a pivotal fundraiser for Special Olympics. We're talking about the Polar Plunge. But when the U.S. Secretary of Education announced a possible defunding of this program, the future looked bleak. But after a sudden reversal, everyone is just thrilled they can take the plunge again worry-free. Two, one. I can say it's a wonderful experience to be able to plan this Special Olympics. It's been just incredible to be able to work with the whole team from Special Olympics of Iowa. There's some magic in the air at Iowa State University. It's kind of like positive competition that we have that a lot of teams really all like to raise money for this incredible cause and for this awesome organization. Being able to help our community raise money for Special Olympics is something that I think has been su such an amazing opportunity. <laughs> Students who are part of Greek life join together for the chance to take the plunge for Special Olympics, not knowing if it would be 70 degrees or 17 when they signed up. We always say it's the polar bear plunge, but the past two years it was outside for one time, but it was still really cold, and then it's been inside for the other. This year we we're so happy that it is outside. This year, they set out with a fundraising goal of more than 200 grand. That meant 3,000 strong were lined up and ready to take a dip on this refreshing spring day. <laughs> Iowa State senior Madison Nelson helped plan this event. It's become a passion of hers since doing her first plunge three years ago. Since then, I've like really hit it hard and loved it ever since. And now that I get to work with all the employees and get to personally meet all the athletes, it's just been like a life-changing experience. For a while, the future of Special Olympics was murky at best. First one is fine. But now the outlook is as clear as this water. <laughs> It's something that's so special to all the athletes, and I know, like, without Special Olympics, like, their lives would be completely different. Now, all total, they raised more than $228,000 for Special Olympics of Iowa, and of course, those two co-chairs you saw in the story, they were the last ones to plunge right into the pool.